Okay, two, I think two of the things that we um, have really put our emphasis on this year uh, have been in these high yield strategies around learning. So it's, it's great to have a, a wonderful environment where the children are going to be able to work. But uh, it, if we get back to the, the core business of teaching and learning, the two high yield strategies of, of uh, using and analysing data and uh, the feedback that we're giving to our students has made a really big difference. Um, for, in the first place, it's given the, the teachers the opportunity to really be able to analyse exactly where their children are, the kinds of things that they need, and uh, the next step for them in the process of where do we need to take these children next. Um, and the second part of it, the feedback, uh, has really given us an opportunity to think about how we, uh, as teachers, uh, communicate with each other, how we feedback what we're doing to each other, how we feedback the kind of um, assessment information and evaluation back to the children to really encourage them and bring them on and challenge them. And it's also given us an opportunity to, to, to uh, reframe the way we report to teachers, uh, sorry, to parents, and, and the way we talk to parents about their children's learning journey. And um, I suppose the whole goal behind both of those high yield strategies is really moving towards this opportunity of individualised learning as much as possible. Um, and we've, uh, we've our, the results that we've just um, had from our observation surveys and so on has really shown that both of those high yield strategies have been very effective in learning.